What is up, heroes? This is Minute Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 6's B-Side. In this episode, which may be the first time I need to split up a B-Side into two separate episodes, we're going to try the B-Side of Chapter 7, The Summit. I'm I'm hoping it'll be pretty fun. It, it should be good. I'd imagine it's going to be an integration of all the challenges from all of the B-Sides up until this point, and then, of course, take it another step further and be just that much more difficult. So, without further ado, let's... Listen to this nice no more running mix of this music. I'm excited for it. Oh, and lovely. We've got our we've got our double jump or our double dash back. Oh my. Okay, so we're already right off the bat. Ooh, that is that is a tight drift there. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a block on the on the left that I can uh, grab onto. Okay, that makes life a lot nicer. Okay, and I guess I just can't hold right. It's getting a little bit lazy there. There we go. All right, gotta gotta get back in the groove. I'm trying the. Uh, the early morning recording deal. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yep. <laughs> Just because I'm a little bit less stressed in the morning and uh, I've already got plenty of work to do. But the thing is when I try to like work super early in the morning, a lot of times I'm just kind of sluggish and end up feeling like I waste time anyways. Whereas if I'm playing a game, I'm significantly more efficient at playing said game. Like, make sure I'm actually using that time to play the game. So, here I am. And while I'm on uh, quarantine, I might as well, right? I don't want to talk a lot about coronavirus, because it's pretty much all everyone's talking about. But, yeah, I, um, <clears throat> I'm a medical student, and I'm on my third year. And I was on my medicine clerkship, which is time where you spend two months at the hospital practicing um, internal medicine on, on, as part of the team. And we actually had our clerkships like move to online as much as possible uh, for the coming weeks, which is a really big deal given that there's really no true substitute for in-person education regarding this matter. Just goes to show the the degree of I guess like intensity of the whole situation. Kind of crazy. <clears throat> Admittedly kind of a relief um, because it's very intense. You know, having to get up at like four in the morning and all that and being there for a long time, but yeah, it is a still a welcome to breather. Obviously not in the most ideal of circumstances. I'd rather the, uh, the world be healthy <laughs> than, you know, what the current state is, but Regardless, I guess I might as well try and take advantage of the time now that I do have it. Not that I, well, no, I do actually have more time, because I don't have three hours of commuting like I normally do. Regardless, I don't really want to focus on uh, coronavirus in my videos. So, I'll say I hope you guys stay safe, prioritize your, uh, your own health and your own wellness throughout this time and hopefully my videos keep you entertained <laughs> wow it looks like it's gonna be really tough to get all the way over there right like that looks really precariously difficult to get over there in time I probably need to like hit this the second spring all the way at the top of it in order to make sure I'm getting like maximum height before I go to the right. For some reason I'm having such a tough time with even this first part. The way that that gap is structured it makes me feel like I have to dash directly to the right through it, but I think as you guys just saw, it's still probably doable if I just time that really well. My like, upright dash. Is that a button down there on the right? Oh! 
Well, that makes a difference. For some reason, that looked like... Well, I first of all didn't see that, but it also looked red when I first saw it. Interesting. Okay, so that's definitely how we get over there. Glad I saw that sooner than later. Oh, man. I was just trying to react to it as I was like, what is going on? What do I need to do? Just trying to take in all of the visual information as fast as possible. But, okay. Ooh, I hesitated a little bit, but I know what to do now. So, should be all right. There we go. Ooh, that's right, we're gonna deal with these, uh... <coughs> Oops. Uh, that was not enjoyable. Um, we have to deal with these, like, not deal with. We get to utilize these battling purple little icons. <clears throat> Ooh, that was not, that was not good. Yeah, I needed to have my second. Oh, that's right, I could have just rebounced. Or actually, I wonder if I could have. That was not a very good use of my dashes there. That was more being impatient than anything else. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> you know what that little segment reminds me of? Have you guys seen those, like, bee traps? Right? That you put, like, a sugary solution in them, but they're kind of like a reverse funnel. So it's like near impossible for them to actually climb out of them. It's kind of cruel when you think about it like that. But at the same time, that's exactly what that segment reminds me of. Because you have to like fly directly into this narrow gap. You can't necessarily climb into it despite being able to uh, fall into the trap. If you, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's really tough to describe. But the way I would say is it's like a big cone. And then the entrance to the cone is a, is a funnel itself. Where the if you were to climb into it, funnel into it, the only way to get out is to directly fly into the, that small aperture, uh, which is not easy. And which is why it's a trap. Alright, just trying to scout a little bit there. Interesting. Aww. Oh. Well, the thing is, I definitely can't afford to, uh... Oh, no, I can, actually. Oh, I was supposed to go over here. Darn. Alright, well... Good to know now, I guess. So I need to jump to the right a little bit there. I can't just go straight up. Hmm. Oh, so I need to be on like the middle of it there so I don't get hit by those initial spikes. And then jump up on the way back, probably. There we go. Cool. All right, let's scout. <clears throat> So, we jump to the left, we jump on that, jump off as it gets close to the top so we get propelled upwards, and then dash to the right, and then upright to land on that, jump at the right time to get propelled up there, then dash to the right, upright, jump at the right time to get propelled upward, and then cling onto that, jump off at the right time, get propelled upward, dash right, dash up, wall jump, yeah, I think wall jump to climb and then then jump over those spikes, slide down, cling onto that wall, and then maybe wall jump or yeah, jump over onto that. I don't know. That's that's looking pretty tough. This last bit is going to be tricky. 
<coughs> I'm seeing whether or not I can conserve dashes or whether or not I need them at certain points. Darn. I'm having a tough enough time with uh, just this part. Aw, oh, man. What I was gonna say is, at least there's like somewhat of a safety mechanism in place. Alright, here we go. Nice. Okay, so now what do we have going on? Hmm. Ooh, I probably should not have used my dash there. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna make me use my dashes very uh, resourcefully. Oh no, that was a waste of a dash. Yep, and I need it there. <clears throat> okay, this room segment at least doesn't seem too long though. Interestingly enough. Ah, oh, I knew I should have grabbed to kind of reset my momentum, but I got impatient. Common phrase. I wonder if somebody... No, please don't. But, um, I wonder how many times I've said I just got impatient over the course of this entire playthrough. <clears throat> okay. So we bounce up, bounce over, presumably don't need to use a dash to cling onto this. It'll fall. I jump off of it. Hmm... The thing is, do I cling onto this and then see like the platform with the spikes on the bottom of the screen? Do I jump onto that and then try to dash up to the springboard while it's up there? I think that's the better plan rather than let it fall and springboard and have to use my dash. And then I'll have to jump off of these and onto those and progressively make it. Yeah, I think I'm going to try doing that. Okay, I do need to use one of my dashes, unfortunately. Oh no! Ran out of stamina. All right, so I'm gonna have to be very careful about my uh, my climbing stamina. No! I didn't think I would grab on. No, oh, I like kind of panic there, but that's a-okay-ish. Oh no, I missed. Darn. So that springboard will reset my stamina. So it's not about, it's all about conserving my stamina after the, uh, after that point, well, I, I guess, right? <laughs> so let's focus on that. Okay, just tried to focus not so much on actually climbing up the blocks once I was on them there, and that worked out pretty well. Interesting. Hmm, what's the best way to go about this? Not that. <laughs> Okay, so I need to use that propel myself up and over and then land on the purple thing. I need to take a little bit more time. There we go. Oh, I didn't... I was trying to like think, and I mean obviously I have to move quickly, right? Part of what's going to be difficult about that segment, I'm sure, is going to be um, keeping all of your stamina to make it through to the end.
There we go. I was just like, okay, I'm really just gonna hone in on the platforms and see where the spikes were, where there are no spikes, and work my way up. Okay, cool, so we made it through that little segment. Oops, that was, uh, that did not have the, the foresight. Aw, oh, darn. And I gotta remember I can do one of those sort of, like, special jumps after exiting these. No! Why do I keep doing the jump? I have to dash immediately to the right and then... and then up. Oh no! I didn't do the jump there. I generally like these segments though. I think they're pretty cool. No! I did the jump! Oh man! So I definitely needed a wall jump there and utilize that. That's my bad. I mean, of course it is. Rarely is it the game's bad in a game like this. There we go. Okay. Interesting. I got an idea. Yeah, if I if I go a little bit lower, I can do the the jump coming out of it, and that I think will actually set up my trajectory a little bit better. Oh, darn. Just trying to figure out where I need to go from there. Like, oh, why do I do that? Like at this point, right? So I look at this and I need to go down right and then immediately dash to the right twice, and then probably make my way through that and jump. So, let's see here. I tried to do the down right dash, and uh... Oh! Maybe I need to be even a little bit lower? But I don't think I have the time, or for some reason I can't... Oh no! I had to... I just didn't react in time, really. Oh! Interesting! I might be able to kind of shortcut that. Yeah, I actually... I'm gonna try that. <laughs> That's a much easier way of going about it. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do here? Okay, tried to get as much distance out of that as I could, but was not uh, meant to be, apparently. Alright. And I mean, I, I kind of wanted to scout more than anything, but... Are those... Are those blocks I can go through, like the usual? Or, I don't know. I think so. All right, I've kind of got an idea. Alrighty. Oh man, I keep underestimating her uh, momentum. No! Ugh. It's alright, this is a pretty cool segment. One thing, I mean, you can appreciate the, uh, oh, oops. Um, the design that goes into it, the, oh man, I thought I clung to the wall. Uh, the progressive development, they teach you this, like, oh, here's this concept. Now they're doing it in a tighter space with some spikes you need to fall back through. Now there's a spring, and there are spikes you need to fall through. And now there are spikes on the way up, too. You know, like the progression of teaching you a mechanic and then just leveling up the difficulty by a little bit each time. Oh, oops. I actually meant to hit the jump button there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what? Did I miss? I, I guess I missed it. Darn, that was not when I. <laughs> that was not my uh, anticipated. And again. Oh no, I used both my jobs! Ah! I wonder if I could, like, infinitely chill up here. That's pretty funny, actually, but. <laughs> Enough of that. What? I swear I hit jump. Alright. Alright, Celeste. Oh no! I like took some time to think whether or not I should jump onto this wall or not. Uh, and it turns out I'm sure it doesn't matter so long as I don't use a jump or a dash to take the time to think about it. And I did it again! I did it again, guys! No, it's gonna be helpful to uh, jump onto that wall so I can get the angle I want to dash through the next little astral blob. Is that what we'll call it now? Space Jelly? Astral Blob or something? Oh, oh, I need to do the same thing again with the wall jump so I can re-angle my approach. I just didn't see the segment on the wall. <laughs> Oh man, I was like scouting, I was like, wait a minute, is there like a wall segment? Because, like I said, with level design they usually introduce a concept and then escalate the difficulty by, you know, progressively adding new obstacles or new ways to, to die, <laughs> etc. But it turns out the, uh, the wall concept is not around for too long there. No, I should have taken my time and really thought about what I was doing rather than just kind of muscle memorying, memorying. Um, but no, it's pretty apparent that they're not just teaching the wall concept; they're teaching the 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 dash through and then go diagonally to go back through again. Um, so again, I need to go through. I need to jump up, go straight to the left, jump out of this jelly, and then dash upright and then straight to the right and then jump out of there again and then hopefully react to whatever's out there. Oh, really? Really? I was like just a split second too late there. So close. But that's all right. Oh, I I dashed instead of jumped outside of it. That's unfortunate, but I do like the, this. I like this type of segment where it's like a lot of dashing, um, a lot of I don't know, jumping and wall climbing and all that stuff. All right, this is probably a springboard up to uh, the next battle in cooperation token. Is that what we're gonna call him? Battling cooperation tokens. So we're now on... Is this chapter 3 or 4? Either way, we're back in the hotel again. It's been a minute. Alright, we can take a second to breathe. Uh-oh. Nice. So we made it through that first room decently quickly. I also... How long... How long have I been recording? I should have... Should have checked in on that some more. I don't think we're gonna make it through this whole chapter in one go, unfortunately. But we'll see. I'll do my best. Sometimes that's all you can ask for. Oh, I thought I died. Again, it's the, the white flashing sound effects. Oh my. I was not prepared. I went to like grab onto that ledge and there was a springboard. 
Oh, I remember this little segment. I was gonna say, I took a second to scratch my nose there, and now all my timing was gonna be off. Oh, I could have grabbed onto it, but I didn't. Because I wasn't sure what was there. At the very least, with things like this, you can generally learn like a cycle, like a pattern you can do to uh, keep yourself safe. I'm gonna take a second here. Oh, we can't take a second there because we can't make it back. It's good to know. I thought I almost got hit by that last little bit there on the corner. I probably did almost get hit, but luckily I, I didn't. Oh man, okay. I just need to identify where the different springboards are. Oh no! That was it! <laughs> really? Oh man! So close. Darn. I lost track of where I was. Wow, did we just clear the hotel segment that quickly? Yeah, we did. Wow, we're actually kind of cruising along pretty quickly, all things considered. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I didn't have to. I knew I would get killed if I did that. But, uh, but here we are. Oops. That was, that was kind of tricky to navigate. Because of this wind. That's okay though, we will persevere. Oh no, you know what that means. We're getting close to uh, Having to deal with the gold feathers again. My favorite. Alright. This is actually really cool. I like this a lot. I should know that I can, um... I can always kind of, like, side and then... Oh, no, I can't really... I guess to that degree. But I can always do something like this. Well, maybe not always. <laughs> Just because of the rate that it uh, is moving at. Oh man, that was so close! This is a really cool segment. I'm a big fan of this. For now. <laughs> we'll see how many more times I die on it. And then that'll be the, the real indicator, but no. I, um,. So far, a big fan. Ah, oh, should have waited. Got impatient. I'm starting to see the pattern though, right? Kind of like bounce up and then dash over at a different time. There we go. Ooh, now we got some really intense wind. Oh my. So I think they're going to they're going to force me to use those. Oh man. Yeah, they're they're totally going to force me to use those.
No! You know, to be fair though, if that happens, I should always just like... I can always just go back, right? The wind is so strong that... It should be alright. Oh no! Alright, well... As usual, the game making me <laughs> think really hard about whether or not I want to actually propel myself up off of these. No, I just needed to drift. Wow, and we're almost done with this segment too? Maybe these segments are just, this chapter in general is just a lot shorter than I remember. Or maybe I'm just primed to because of all of the other B-sides. Oh wow, that's kind of tough. Um, that I deal with each of these mechanics for so much longer, right? Going through each individual B-side, you spend so much more time, but this is one large chapter, and they need to make time for every single mechanic, so it's only natural that uh, the, uh, the time you spend with each individual mechanic seems significantly shorter. Honestly, it's kind of nice. Kind of keeps you doing things differently, thinking differently. Oh, I didn't quite make it. So you, you have to really get maximum height out of that jump there. Darn it. I mean, I obviously need to stabilize myself when I'm on that last cloud, so that I don't fall off to the side, but otherwise, um, I should just take a minute to breathe and let that block move out of the way. Make sure I get, like, maximum height out of that. And I need to time my dash as well, too. It's not just about getting maximum height out of the jump. And there's a first time I've ever done that after doing it correctly so many times. There we go. Okay. On to the next bit. So we got these platforms. Uh oh. Hmm. So that timing is pretty tight. That really uh, sent me flying. Really? Did I jump off too early there? There we go. <laughs> that was an interesting situation. Darn, close, but not quite. Oh, what? What? I, <laughs> I must have been moving to the left. Oh, no, I did it again! <laughs> I keep moving to the left to avoid those spikes, but then I end up not grabbing the wall. There we go. Okay. All right. Really? I don't think I'm that late on that, but I must be. Oh, I went over it? <laughs> really? Of all deaths to get in this, uh... In this segment, that's the death I get. I miss the big red ball in the narrow hallway.
Cool. That was a fun segment. So these move up like that. Hmm. What do I need to do with them? So... Interesting. Do you see the third block? The way it moves, I think I need to utilize the momentum going up towards the top of the screen to go up and over on the right side of the platform to fall down onto that springboard. Yeah. What? Why did I not? Huh. So maybe I need to dash from farther away, actually. Yeah. Huh. Well, I didn't know how those were going to move when dashed. <laughs> and uh, I didn't realize that some of the spikes were not as, you know, were part of the, uh, were a little bit more fixed in place. But that's okay. Wait, what? This supposed to be a dash down. Okay. Oh man. I was already looking at the next obstacle. No, I, I'm hitting. <laughs> I'm not hitting to the right. Or rather, that's probably just the default if you hit it without any direction. And I must have already let go of my direction. Oh wait, no! I have to remember to dash up before I get there. Up and over. Hmm. I think I need to dash straight up. I think I think that's the best option for now. Oh. Yeah, I, I like that. I definitely need to only use one of my dashes there, too, so... Oh, I need to jump on the other side of the platform while I can, probably. And do that as fast as possible. Alright, well, we'll give it a go. I should take a look when I can and see if there are spikes on the right side. There aren't. Okay. Darn it. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta be quicker about it, but it's tough to make it over there. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't know about that one, Celeste. I mean, obviously the game is programmed pretty consistently, so... My words don't bear a lot of weight. Oh man, that was that was close. That was close, but I think that's what I actually need to do. Which looks like it'll be a really tight timing. I think I'm better off just trying to well. Hmm, I don't know. see. There we go. Now over. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't react in time, so I'll have to dash into that crystal, get my crystal, or get my dashes back, then immediately jump off before it slides up again. Go to the right and probably then upright, if I had to guess but I didn't really get a chance to scout the level, so I don't know 100%. And that time I moved too far to the right. All right. There we go. Over. What? No, come on. Don't, don't die something stupid like that. <laughs> Really? That's a new one. Uh, 
Okay. We made it. And we're already possibly at the end? Interesting. <laughs> what a bait. What a bait. You have no idea how the blocks are going to move or what spikes are going to be where and all of a sudden there's like nope. That's actually hilarious. I guess that is too. Oh, I see. I see. I've got an idea of what I need to do. It's not that. I don't know why I used my dash there for like the first time. I also don't know why I messed that up. Because now I definitely can't do this. I should not have... I like stopped to think for a moment and then, uh, well, then my moment to think ended abruptly. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. Alright, so we're almost at the end. Huh. So I definitely need to use that momentum to get all the way to the left. Because I definitely need to conserve my dashes. So what I need to do then is jump over to the left, dash down into where the block will be, and then jump as if I'm if, as if I've landed on it without having really the ability to react. Oh boy. Darn it. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. But I'm pretty sure that's what needs to happen. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do, though. I don't really see much of an alternative. Uh-oh. I swear my head hit that crystal, but I probably need to hit, like, the center of the crystal in order for it to actually count. The only other thing I can think of is if, what if instead of dashing down, I were to dash to the left? Mm, even then. It takes a minute to get there. Hmm. I could try to like do this and then dash down while it's on the way. So I do something like this and then... What? Still? I must be just placing it poorly. Placing my dash poorly. Should probably do it more to the left. Ah, oh, really? That's me getting impatient. And what was that? <laughs> that. Well, that's the first time I died that way, that's for sure.
All right. Yeah, I think what I need to do is kind of prime it a little bit. So, I very carefully watched that, though. And the block had already moved past me by the time I got to where, well, the block would have been. Which means that's not, or that was a little bit too much priming. I need to actually let it get back further if I want to try what I had in mind. Uh, I should not have used my dash like that. Yeah. Because then that happens. And I have no idea what happened there, but you know what? We'll, we'll live with it. We'll live with it and move on. This is proving to be tougher than I anticipated. Oh, you know what? What if I were to land on it like that and then dash down and try to get the jump? I wonder if the amount of, uh... Well, actually, no, it should be, I mean. The amount of, like, distance you get after being launched is proportional to the speed at which the platform is moving, which would make a lot of sense, right? That's kind of how physics works in general. However, this is a game, and it's all about how it's programmed, and sometimes the physics are very different from reality, he says, as we play as a, uh, a girl climbing a mountain who is able to dash in the middle of, you know, jumping, completely change her momentum, etc. You know, so, yeah, we'll see. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell myself right now so I don't mess it up. I'm going to dash to push the platform out there. I'm going to jump on it. Then before it moves into the spikes, I'm going to dash down again and then hit jump when I think it reaches the end to launch myself, hopefully to the wall without using a dash because then I can wall jump off of it and use both my dashes to get to the purple crystal. Oh, I had to use one of my dashes. Well, let's hope for the best. Oh, we still made it. We still made it. Whew. All right, we're hanging in there. And we are on the final part of this B-side. I just had to take a sip of water. I don't know how long this episode's been. Probably, probably close to an hour. I think, I think we can push through the end of this. Oh, man. All right, well, that's uh, not ideal, but ooh, that's a pretty interesting potential. Oh, there's wind pushing or pulling me down. I don't think that was the intended route there, but you know, that's okay. Made it up there. Oh, I remember this little segment. Seventeen, okay. Oof, made it nice. Sixteen. Okay, we're climbing. Fifteen. Ooh, that's that's close, but honestly, <laughs> I really like this. This is very fun. <laughs> I very much enjoy all of those springs. I know, it's kind of autopilot. You can, you can kind of call it not even really platforming to some degree, but... Woof! Gotta take another sip. Alright. Oh, that's right. Now we have the, uh... The wind behind us. I think I actually need to utilize that cloud. Yeah, I definitely do. Does it come back at all? Like ever? It does, okay. So at least if we mess up, we're not completely screwed. Oh, 
Oh, that. That's gonna be a tough part. Ah, uh, I needed to definitely go up left, not straight left. And I do it again! <laughs> I definitely not need to do this thing. Proceeds to immediately do it again. And a third time in a row! Why is that, like, programmed into my muscle memory? That's so weird. I think I need to wait a little bit more. Uh, at least we haven't dealt with the, the golden feathers anytime soon. Or, we haven't recently. Darn, I need to be even further on the left there. Still even further? Maybe I just need more, like, momentum or something. Oh, that was, that was close to being it. The question is, with my dashing, it looks like I need to go straight to the right twice. I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough height off of this jump, though, in order to do that. We'll try, obviously. I need to be further on the left of the platform. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's not just about my position on the platform so much as it is also like the momentum I have as I'm jumping. Like that. That's probably the most successful second jump. Second pink cloud bounce I've had yet. And I think a lot of it was because I had... I made a note to try to get momentum moving to the left. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh no! <laughs> Come on! I should have paused is what I should have done. Gotta love falling segments. <laughs> where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? But yeah. Again, it's not necessarily so much about the position as it is the momentum you have when you get flung off. Obviously both contribute. And I'm sure there's more that contributes that I'm simply not aware of because I'm not an expert at the game. I'm gonna take a second to breathe. All right. Let's try this uh, Boingy segment. Ooh, nice. Big fan, big fan. Ah. I see, I'm supposed to uh, get off of these clouds before they do anything to me. Aw, oh, man. And I gotta account for, of course, the, uh, the wind. Now I actually need to utilize that one. That marks 10, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of stamina soon. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I still have so much further to go. So much further to go. I really need to utilize my stamina very carefully. I need to move quickly. Wait, what? Where was I supposed to, uh... Oh! I didn't see that there. I was like, I clearly am supposed to have another jump right now. Oh, and that's going to drain my stamina even more. Okay, we're, we're pretty close to the end, though. This is a pretty cool little segment. Nice. Give me that sweet, sweet checkpoint. 
I mean, you guys are probably not surprised that I enjoy this segment so, or that little segment so much, given the the wall jumping and all that stuff, right? Okay. I feel like I need to get over there, yeah. Without using any of my dashes. Oh, no, I wanted to dash up onto it. I obviously need to not, like, let it bounce me at all. No! I l tried to dash above the platform so I could think as I fell onto it. Um, but I ended up landing on the platform for a split second, and then instead, um, just dashing right off of it as it disappeared, so not utilizing it at all. Aw, oh, man. Still not 100% comfortable with the, uh, with, like, how much the upward wind boost your dashes, because it definitely seems, I mean, it definitely does so. It's not a matter of seeming to do so. That was way too far right on the cloud as I jumped there. Aw, oh, man. I was anticipating too much. Really? That's all right. We will persevere. Close. So, part of what's tough about that is I need to adjust myself to be on the left side of the platform so I can, you know, change my momentum. Um, or so I can, you know, drift over and be in the right positioning. However, I don't want to be moving left as I am, like, launched off the cloud. Because that means I will uh, obtain more leftward momentum with my trajectory, which is not what I'm aiming for right now. Oh. I see. I actually need to utilize that. I saw the spikes above it and thought, oh, this is just a trap. Nope. It was not a trap. Well, I mean, to a certain degree it's a trap, but... I actually need to utilize it. Uh-oh. You know the, like, minions meme where they, like, chuckle and they're like, Uh-oh, I'm in danger. <laughs> That's how I felt at that segment. We're so close! Oh, man. And I feel like... There was, a, there was a segment where I used one of my dashes to kind of uh, more comfortably get over a little spike wall. I feel like that's not supposed to be the, uh, the case. What? I swear I dashed. That's not how I want to waste my, my attempts dying like that. Or that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I should... I should be able to get over that hump without having to use my dash. So, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and be a little bit more careful with that segment. No, I definitely need to. That's way too high up there. I'm just trying to compare it to some of the other jumps I'm making relative to, you know, the cloud position and all that stuff. It definitely seems way up higher. So, I'll try without it for now, and I guess if I really, really need to 
I guess work on it. I, I will do so, but I think I need to, well, I definitely need to try and make that jump more at the, the peak of the height that I get from bouncing on the pink cloud. Okay. What? What? Why did I jump so far? I was like really, really consciously trying to make a very tiny jump. Oh man. I know there are going to be golden feathers up ahead. There's no way they leave them out of a segment like this at the end of the game. What? So like, I'm trying to very very barely either jump off of the platform or and I either go straight into that spike wall or jump up right into the spikes like directly above me <sighs> I've uh, been watching too much Star Wars all I can think of in my head is patient Senekin <laughs> Also, holy cow, I'm not realizing the full potential of these clouds. Look at how much height I'm able to get if I just wait a little bit longer. Almost too much height. So I think that's something to work on. Otherwise, and, and these jumps would have been significantly less tight if I had just been doing that the whole time. So I'm gonna try and get more used to that timing so that I can really fully utilize it. Cause like I didn't even have to worry about my momentum or where I was on the platform there. I almost went too high there. If anything, the challenge is gonna be getting off the platform at the right time there. Darn, that's probably still not enough, but see what I mean? <laughs> I feel like there's definitely something wrong there. I don't know, I don't know what I'm missing about it, but it's, uh, it ain't working. And I feel like it shouldn't be that challenging. Like, it feels disproportionately challenging. That's a really tight timing. Uh-oh, we finally hit... I feel like we've been moving along pretty nicely throughout most of the, the summit so far. I feel like we finally hit that segment where it's like, okay, he's he's gonna be here for a minute. They're gonna be like, we need to make sure you really understand this mechanic. Like, you need to be really good at it. <laughs> Which is reasonable for a last segment of the game. Alright. So just to explain kind of what's going through my head, I'm trying and I've really tried to just barely jump off of the platform and you need to hold down the jump button to get enough height to get over this little spike area, right? But at the same time, if you hit too much, you'll, far, you'll fly far enough to the right that you'll hit those spikes, which is obviously why they're there. And I'm just trying to get on the other side of this platform I'm attached to right now so that I can wall jump to the left and then slide down there, etc., and work my way up. But man, <sighs> see, it's like I can't get enough height if I don't do that. And if I, if I do that, then I just fly too far to the right and run into those spikes. If I don't get enough height, then I just hit the spikes right above me. And I don't think you're supposed to use your dash there. So there's, there's some, there's got to be some sweet spot in the middle that I'm just missing right now.
great. <sighs> what? Goodness, <laughs> I am uh, obviously getting quite tired of this segment. If there's going to be a break, gonna have to be here because I'm really struggling with this one segment maybe I'm not alone I guess if you guys also find this particular segment really difficult let me know because uh could definitely use the support right now. Wow, that's the first time that's happened. All right, let's uh, let's let's focus here. Let's focus. I'm gonna be silent for a minute. I bet I need my dash. I bet I need my dash and I just need to get better at this one pink jump. I don't think I can get over that though, really. With uh, even with like the best timing, you know? I did it. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked. So I don't know if it'll happen again, but it happened. keep going so far to the right or like nowhere at all why is there such a huge discrepancy in my ability to tailor how far out I'm going right like it just doesn't make sense I obviously need to do it quickly otherwise I'll run out of stamina
I think I just need to try to do no directional input at all. I think it's actually going to be that simple. I think literally I just need to try and go straight up and hope that none of the spikes are pointing at like jutting out at all. Otherwise I just don't see it happening. Let's try it. Huh. That's it. Oh man, and I was too early there. Wow. I can't even believe it's not about like micro micro spacing or managing like how hard you're hitting the X button or something like that it literally comes down to you just need to hit the jump button without a direction at all <sighs> at the very least it's figured out which is better than nothing but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit salty about that so close that's an, that was just like another segment at the end that I tried to do the way I was doing that other troublesome jump but I realized towards the end I just need to jump straight up all right finally oh my goodness so what? Oh, um, so we're on eight. Now, huh? Dash, and then... Whoa! So you can, like, jump off, you can, like, wall jump off of walls that you dash into and of course they're introducing me to that concept at the end to prepare me for the seasides or whatever that is really really cool <laughs> but oh man this is gonna be one episode because we're so close to the end but oh my goodness if this is this is gonna be a long episode interesting okay So that's what I need to do. But I need to do it with a little bit more. Oh man. Yeah, I definitely need to do the, the jump as well. Oh yeah, so if I wait towards the end there, I can get a little bit more out of it. Aw, oh, man. The the earlier in your dash you do it, the more height you get, I think. Almost! I've got to get, like, two of them in a row. Here I am, thinking that they're getting to the point of the... Like, the, the top, right? Where they ease up on you. Aw, oh, so close! There we go. I think part of it is that I tried to like turn towards the walls, but I don't need to at all. Whew. Oh, I realize what I need to do. They're gonna, all right, they're gonna put me on the spot here. Let's prepare myself. Okay. There we go. Okay, keep on climbing, now we're at four. Okay, now we're at three. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I know what they might want me to do. And it's kinda crazy. 
I think that's actually what they want us to do. Is like fall under this and then dash up and then wall jump off of that. Yeah. I, I'm fairly confident that that's what they want us to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, so it's possible. No, why did I... This is such a cool mechanic. I think it's so cool and it adds such a whole new like dimension to the game. And what's crazy is it's probably always been there and I just had no idea. I just had no idea. Okay, so... Yeah, that is unbelievable. And of course they're telling you this now so that you get ready for the seasides or chapter eight or whatever, right? Oh, what? Oh, I was still drifting to the left. I wanted to go straight up, but... <sighs> Come on. Need to be more careful about my timing with uh with that pink one. I'm very close to the end. I'm very much over these uh clouds. Ooh, I have to be like at the peak of that one. Darn it, why do I keep doing that? Should be a little bit more patient. He says as he does literally the same thing again. Alright. Oh man, too much. But I've, I, I can see how it all plays out. I've seen the, the path. This, this is such a cool mechanic. What's also cool is I bet that makes speedrunning or like playing the game again so different and so rewarding. No, I realized what I needed to do too late. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> I said I had seen the, the light, the path, but I had not seen all of it. Oh man, why am I getting ahead of myself there? That's like an easy part. And yeah, now this episode has probably been going on for so long. But you know what? This is just how it's gonna be. We're so close to the end. We're so close to the end. This is probably just like a primer for the next challenges that you'll encounter. They teach you a new mechanic at the end for having completed all the B-sides, or at least the final B-side. They reward you with a, hey, here's how you could have been playing this game this whole time and you had no idea. No, oh, why did I wait? It was like muscle memory from before. No. Oh man. Wow, snowing outside in March. 
That is pretty typical for Chicago that it happens. Better late than never, I guess. So again, just to reiterate, so I can say to myself, I need to jump over here, dash to the right, and then dash up and wall jump, and then cling. There we go. And we've made it up to the number one. So now we keep climbing, we're almost at the top again. Are we gonna hear the, the B side, like, clicking music? Here we are, guys. It's finally time. All right. Wait, what? We made it to the top, but, oh, we probably, whoa. I wonder what happens if I go, I'll probably die if I go down there. Further beyond the peak we go, I guess. Into the stars. That was amazing. Wow, we haven't had dialogue in forever. I can't believe we did that! Nothing can stop us! You're scaring me right now. <laughs> what? Oh. I was gonna say, like... What do we have? Hmm? No, that's just different. That's not the door, that's the sound effect. Okay, so we got the final B-side ending area. They got, they got me with the false hope at the end with the, the peak there. Interesting, okay. Oh, I definitely needed to time that better. Darn. I thought it was like just about to go away. I really need to dash like right at the end of that. Ooh, that would have been a good one, I think. Hmm. They really force you into action there. They're like, you can't really rest here. Well, because there's a, uh, a spike that's gonna appear right above you in just a moment. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh man. This is gonna be tough. <gasps> no! Ah! Oh, I swear that was so close to the end, too. That had to have been. Wow. Yo, let's go! Let's go! No more running. We've gotten the seventh crystal heart. Crystal heart from the uh, the B side. We've completed the summit's B side. Yo, let's go! Wait, take the controller. Hold the controller so it doesn't vibrate like crazy by the mic. Whew! Wow! Completed that challenge. Holy cow! That was pretty. That was a pretty cool ending B side. Seaton. I, I like that. Oh man, I appreciated the fake out too with the, the flag at the peak. And talk about introducing a really cool mechanic right at the end there. How many deaths do we have? Oh, so less than the previous chapter, I think. Wow. So with that, we've completed all of the B-sides for the first seven chapters. So I think the next thing 
is going to be chapter 8, where I think we'll actually have some more crystal hearts to potentially collect, slash some strawberries to collect, slash another B-side. Um, chapter 7 and then chapter, or chapter 8 and then chapter 8's B-side. And then I think there are the C-sides and then there's chapter 9, but wow, those were, those were some challenging segments. And guess what? Best part? No gold feathers. <laughs> but regardless, I'm, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Thank you guys for your patience. Uh, thank you guys for watching this long, long episode if you're still watching it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the B-side runs up until this point and are excited for chapter 8. What happens after the end of the main game. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>